now let's talk about uh, the structure of uh, that nuclear receptor protein molecules because this nuclear protein receptor molecule is really important uh, for uh, transferring the protein or cargo cargo protein from the cytosol inside the nucleus or sometimes from the nucleus uh, uh, outside the nucleus okay so this is the structure of this nuclear import receptor protein as we know what is the function of nuclear import receptor here in in this picture you can see this is the nuclear import receptor it has two side for binding one is one side is to bind with the cargo protein which has to be de uh, delivered inside the nucleus and another uh, cleft is there which have to bind with the gtp or ran gtp protein okay so a, a very fine quality of this molecule uh, is that this protein molecule can only bind with or only attach with one protein at a time either cargo protein or ran gtp so if it is bound with ran gtp protein then uh, it it shifts its conformation in such a way that that the cargo protein is released from this uh, protein molecule okay okay so what is going on in this picture again uh, we are talking about here is is the receptor uh, protein uh, and cargo protein attached with it it, it uh, enters into the nucleus as soon as it enters into the nucleus the ran gtp molecule attaches with this cleft and this cargo protein is released and after that this molecule is again exported uh, in s outside the nucleus and this ran gtp is hydrolyzed into ran gdp using the uh, gap or uh, gtp is activating protein uh, in the cytosol and then uh, this protein molecule this this re re importer receptor molecule is free again so why this kind of conformational shift is taking place and what is the actual structural basis of this is we can look at here so in this picture you can see here we have this protein molecule which is made up with lots of different alpha helices and turns and inside it it has two different clefts so one cleft is to binding site for cargo protein and that is really narrower it is slightly narrower cave than this large cleft which can be found to bind with ran gtp protein so this ran gtp proteins are really huge proteins uh, and in spite of being this huge proteins uh, and there is an advantage of having this huge proteins because ran gtp uh, as it is a huge protein it cannot leave the nuclear pore complex easily so it has to be present in inside the nucleus okay and the same uh, in case of ran gdp because ran protein is uh, huge that's why they cannot leave the nucleus or they cannot enter the nucleus from the cytosol so this is the basic concept now uh, this part of uh, this protein molecule is uh, is uh, the site for binding the cargo protein and this part this part is a uh, narrower because the cargo protein is a really smaller protein because except for the smaller proteins this pro protein cannot be entered into the cell okay so it is a cargo protein enters here and it recognizes this site there are different active uh, residues out there which you, which we recognize the uh, signal sequence and after recognizing the signal sequence this uh, the cargo protein attaches with that and it carries this protein from the extra cellular extra nuclear space inside the nucleus and when it carries in inside the nucleus that's fine but after that what happened the ran gtp bind when whenever the ran gtp is attached with uh, this car this receptor protein a uh, conformational shift takes place and there is a hook uh, like structure it is going on there it, it comes here in 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 contact with this uh, receptor binding site for cargo protein and to change the conformation after changing the conformation uh, the protein molecule is released or uh, this cargo protein molecule is released and then uh, the receptor molecule along with the ran gtp is leave uh, is leaving is being released from the inside the nucleus into the, uh, into the cytosol and into the cytosol again uh, the gap protein uh, cleaves the ran gtp into ran gdp and the ran gdp is released and this importer molecule is ge getting free to go through another round of replication another round of cycle like that that's how the whole process is working